So my name is Gail McConnell. Uh, I'm Chair of Biophotonics at the University of Strathclyde. I'm in the Department of Physics uh, and I'm one of the course organisers of uh, the MDO practical course for advanced optical microscopy for cell biology. So the course is really designed to give scientists from all sorts of backgrounds um, practical hands-on experience of different types of microscopy, from basic light microscopy, differential interference contrast, phase contrast microscopy, right through to the more advanced and recent uh, methods including light sheet and super resolution, multi-photon imaging techniques that they can then apply to their own biological problems or they're perhaps physicists that want to develop new types of imaging method and the course gives them a good grounding in uh, these different methods so that they have a broad awareness of how and when and where to apply them. So it's a 10 day course which usually runs in spring and it comprises a mixture of taught material uh, via lectures. So we have either two or three lectures each day and the remainder of the time is practical. So that's hands-on work uh, with basic and advanced uh, optical microscope systems and also some specimen preparation. So we're very fortunate to hold the course uh, in the Plymouth uh, lab. So we're at the Marine Biological Association lab at the Ho in Plymouth. So it's a very nice uh, environment to, to, to run the course because we also then have access to a, a vast array of marine uh, species and samples. So as, a, as an example, the students uh, attend a kind of shore collecting trip where they uh, get their own samples straight out of the water. They're bringing them back to the lab and then preparing them for imaging, taking their own images of samples that they might not necessarily have access to in their own host, host institute. The students benefit from seeing all sorts of emerging technologies and having the opportunity to sit with the company experts who can advise them on how to get the best images from their own samples. Um, and it's, it's almost one-to-one -one, uh, tutoring, or in the worst case, it's a kind of one-to-two, ratio one-to-two of uh, teachers to students. So it's very small groups. And we have, I think this year, we've got about 15 different um, companies participating. They've got different imaging systems and the students spend several hours each day just trying out the different technologies that we have here in Plymouth. Scientifica are the only vendors this year to bring a multi-photon uh, microscope. So it's given the students first-hand experience of two-photon microscopy. So they've heard about it in the lectures via the wonders of PowerPoint, but there's nothing quite like seeing it with your own eyes and being able to potentially even image your own samples. So we encourage students to bring their samples to the course. The other benefit I feel that Scientifica brings to the course is that it complements nicely uh, the microelectrode course that runs at the same Plymouth lab in September each year. So that course has a very long history and so often there's a lot of synergy and overlap between the two courses because we've got optical microscopes in spring and then we have uh, electrophysiological recording in uh, autumn. So we often see a bit of overlap in the student participation and teaching staff. Um, they're both well-established courses so we feel that Scientifica straddles those both of those courses very nicely. <laughs>